Okay friends, math day two this week. This one is called More Diving Penguin Problems and it has a front and a back. So we are going to need this paper and a pencil and maybe even an extra piece of paper if you feel like you might need more room. So earlier in the week we worked on this problem page called More Swimming Penguin Problems that was full of plus problems and now we're going to do this page which is all minus problems. So it might be a little different, but I think you'll notice that a lot of things are the same. The directions are the same. It says use numbers, pictures, or words to help solve the problem. And it says fill in the missing number in the equation when you find the answer. So we're gonna pay close attention to the picture and we're gonna add things to the picture if we need to. So number one says there were 11 penguins on the ice. Then three of them dove into the water. How many penguins are left on the ice? And so what I noticed, friends, was that they drew all 11 penguins for you in this picture. They showed the three penguins that are diving into the water, and they showed the penguins that are left on the ice. And so a thing that I would recommend that you do is just count how many penguins are left on the ice. And you can write that number here. Okay, number two says there were 10 penguins on the ice. Some of them dove into the water, and now there are only three penguins left on the ice. How many penguins dove into the water? Uh-oh, I think they forgot to draw some penguins for you this time. I only see three. And they said at the beginning, there were 10 penguins on the ice. So you're going to need to draw more penguins diving into the water until you have 10 penguins all together. And then you can find out how many dove in and write that number in the box. Number three says some penguins were on the ice, then four dove into the water now there are only nine penguins left on the ice. How many penguins were on the ice to start? Hmm, well this time they did draw all the penguins. So they've drawn the penguins that are left on the ice. There's nine. And they've drawn the penguins that have dove into the water. There are four. And so you can see all of those penguins. So all you need to do is count all the penguins and write how many penguins there were to start with in that box at the beginning. Here's where it gets a little trickier. Number four says solve each of the equations below, write the answers in the empty boxes, use numbers, pictures, or words to show how you got the answers. Okay, so there's no pictures here. So you might choose to look carefully at the equation and draw a picture to help you. That could be an idea. Or you could think really carefully about the numbers. This one says 20 minus something equals 10. So those are tens, and we know lots of things about tens, so you might know something about tens that would help you figure out what goes here in the middle. This one is a little bit trickier. Something minus 10 equals three. Again, you might know something about tens that would help you with that. So you might think about what you know about what a 10 and a three makes together, and what you could start with to subtract 10 from to get to three. But I wanna show you really quickly how you would use a picture drawing strategy to help. I'm going to show you 20 minus something equals 10 with a picture. So here's my 20, drawn it really quickly because it's a math drawing, and we know 20 minus something equals 10. And so a way that I could figure out um, how many I took away is to show how many I have at the end. So I know that there are 10 left at the end, so I can draw a nice box around those 10 to show this is how many I ended up with. So I must have taken all of these away. So I could count how many I took away. That should be pretty quick to count. And I could write that in my square to show how many. So sort of a similar idea here for the mystery number minus 10 equals three. I might show this is how many I took away, minus 10. I could even X them out to show that I've taken them away. There's all my 10. And I know that there are three left at the end. And so now I can look at all of my circles that I drew and count all of them together to see how many I started with. You can use a similar strategy for number five. It's almost the same. It says something minus 10 equals eight. So it's a lot like this problem. It just has a story to go with it. It says some penguins were playing on the ice, then 10 of them dove into the water and only eight penguins were left on the ice. How many penguins were on the ice to start? Use numbers, pictures, or words to show how you got the answer. So you can draw penguins to show this problem, how many um, we took away. You can X those out just like we did before. And then you can draw a box around the ones that you ended up with eight. Count all of them to see how many there are.
are all together. Okay, here's our challenge section. I want you to think hard about how the rest of our page went for you. If you're ready for a challenge or if you're ready to send your page to your teacher. If you're ready for the challenge, let's try it out. It says, some penguins were playing on the ice. Then eight of them dove into the water. A few seconds later, five of those penguins jumped back onto the ice. Now there are 12 penguins on the ice. How many penguins were on the ice to start? Use numbers, pictures, or words to show how you got the answer. Goodness, so many things happen in this, in this problem. We better draw a picture so that we can find out what's going on. On my whiteboard or on your paper, I'm drawing uh, the ice and the water. And I'm just gonna draw what we know in our problem. So our first part says some penguins were playing on the ice. We don't know how many, so I'm gonna just put a question mark here. I don't know. Then eight of them dove into the water. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are all the penguins that are diving into the water. There they are diving into the water. A few seconds later, five of those penguins jumped back onto the ice. Oh my goodness. So I need to make five of these penguins jump back onto the ice. Shroop. Now they're back. There's five of them up there. And it says now there are 12 penguins on the ice. Hmm. There aren't really 12 penguins there in my picture. There's really only five because they, they went down and then they went back up. So I'm going to need to add some more penguins so that I can get to 12. So I've got five that jumped back up and I can keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So now there's 12 penguins back on the ice. These ones that were there the whole time and these five that jumped down and then jumped back up. Hmm. Now we need to figure out what do they want to know? How many penguins were on the ice to start? So this is just a tricky way of saying how many penguins are there all together? So we need to count all of these penguins up here on the ice and then all of these penguins down here that did the jumping whether they jumped in or jumped back out, they're the same penguins. So we need to count all of our penguins and that will tell us how many penguins were on the ice to start. Whew, those penguins, they were really going all over the place. When you're all done with this page, send a picture of the print and the back and any extra paper that you might've used to your teacher so they can see your hard work. Thanks for doing your best today and I'll see you again next time.